first game without Reed Travis. How is Kentucky going to fare? It is a game day. Again, Auburn comes into Lexington. I was at the Kentucky-Auburn game in Auburn. It was awesome. The like the atmosphere is so electric. How will Kentucky fare today, though? Um, without Reed Travis, Nick Richards, EJ Montgomery is going to have to step up. But not only them two, Auburn is a guard-oriented team. They have a good big in Austin Wiley. He's pretty good. But they like to go with the four-guard set. So other guards like Jamal Baker of Kentucky, um, Emmanuel Quickly, they got to come off the bench. They have to be an impact. Um, Auburn's a good team. They just beat Arkansas by 20 or 30 a couple nights ago. So they're playing well. They're hungry. They want revenge. And Kentucky's just got to keep clicking right now and just show that we can win without Reed. It's not going to be easy. I need the cats to do it. Let's see how they do. Hagins is out running the offense. Auburn off to an early lead. Kentucky started Montgomery, but he wasn't playing well, so they went right to Nick Richards. PJ is going to have to step up, as are the other guards without Reed Travis. Kentucky doesn't look to know what they're doing. Very stagnant. Keldon looks. He's just going to look. He kicks it to the corner to Washington. He puts up a three. PJ Washington knocks it down from the corner. He's been Kentucky's best player. He's arguably been the best player in the country lately, and he knocks one down. There's Keldon Johnson. He looks. He dishes. P.J. Washington wants another three ball. He's going to get it again. P.J.'s two for two. And the Cats are up 6-4. And P.J.'s carrying the cat. Here comes Auburn in transition. There's Araco. He go oh, back close up by P.J. Oh, my Araco. Meet him at the rim as he throws one down. That quiets the crowd. Come on, P.J. Need a little better closeout than that. There's Nick Richards. He needs to get rid of it. He goes to PJ. PJ's been taking over. He's got six of the eight. He wants a floater. And they can't stop PJ. He is feeling it today. Eight out of the first ten for the Wildcats. Tyler Hero's at the logo. The offense has been very stagnant. No movement. PJ sets up a screen. Tyler doesn't want it. He goes right back to PJ. PJ with the man in his face. Got to put one up. PJ Washington. Oh, my. He is feeling it today. Mr. Washington. Let's go. Harper to the rack. EJ sends it back. Here we go. Now the Cats are in transition. There's quickly. He looks. He wants to go to Tyler. Tyler, two dribbles. Oh, nice little move. Gets it to his left hand. Time out, Auburn. Kentucky extends the lead to 10. Love the way they're playing. Great energy by the Cats early. Let's go. There's Hagins. He wants to kick it. Tyler looks. Oh, nice little pump fake. Good defense there by Auburn, though. Kentucky's on an 11 2 run. They're shooting the ball astounding. Hagins with the foot. Oh, what a pass. Oh, Richard. What an alley oop. Hagins to Richards for two. How about that, baby? Here comes Kentucky. Auburn's pretty rattled. They don't know what's hitting him. Oh, here it pulls up. Knocks it down. Oh, the Cats go up. 19. Oh my gosh. Kentucky is on fire. Look at Hagen's with the clamps. Oh, and it's going to be out of bounds on Auburn. Oh no, Kentucky. I'm just that excited. Can't even get my thoughts right. Let's go. We are shooting so good right now. There's PJ. Oh, he goes behind his back. Oh, oh, he loses it. He's got the best shooter wide open for the corner. Tyler, nothing but net hero. And here we go. Jared Harper with Hagen's defending. Good defense by Hagen. Harper gets it off. It's not going to go. The Cats, even without Reed Travis, are up 14 and a half because of that two right there. Them two. What a team effort. Shot the ball amazing. Now we need a good second half. Let's go. Kentucky is out here playing early and good to start the second half on a little bit of a run. They're shooting the ball effectively. Just, just well everywhere. There's Hero. He looks. He wants to go to Keldon. Nice little curl there from Keldon. Keldon gets it, knocks away. Knocks it out to Hagen. He's been shooting amazing all game. And he knocks it down again. Ashton Hagen is not known for his long range or mid range jumper, but he's been on fire today. And this whole team is playing with a little urgency. Biggest lead, 25. They're playing well without Travis. Oh, Hero! Ooh, unlucky. Uh-oh. That's not good for Auburn. Austin Wiley's been fighting injuries all year, and that's that's a heartbreaker if he's out for a while. Hopefully he's okay. There's Hagens. Kentucky playing unbelievable all around today. They're going to try. Let's see. Hagens. They got Keldon at top of the key here at the wing. Quickly goes to, that looks to be PJ. He passes to Hero. Oh, Hero doesn't want it. Oh, my God. It goes to PJ. PJ with the... You know what? That's just exactly how we drew it up. That's just exactly what we're going to say. <laughs> Everything's going right for the Wildcats today. Oh, my gosh.
Auburn's not played well today. Kentucky's just been amazing, though. I mean, 11 minutes left. You just hope both teams don't get any injuries because the game, unless Auburn makes the most miraculous comeback of all time, is not happening. Jared Harper's still playing with some heart, though. He takes it to the rim. Off the mark, though. It gets hit out. Kelvin's got it. He wants to go to Hagen to transition. Nice catch there. Oh, nice little Euro from Ashton Hagen. Woohoo! Oh, Ashton. All right. Good little finish there, bud. Oh. Hagen's got ball. He wants to attack lane. This is the PJ. PJ puts one up. He's still on fire. PJ Washington. Arguably the best shooting day he's ever had as a Wildcat. And he puts another one from downtown. Time out on the floor. Kentucky is still clicking on all cylinders, baby. Look at that. Just wide open. Just get wide open from your man. Put one up. Nice stroke. Nothing but nine. There we go. There's Tyler Hero. He's got Daughtry guarding him. Oh, he's got him falling one way. He puts one up and he knocks it down off the dribble. That's what he's best at. And the Cats still are on fire all game long. You just love to see it. I mean, that was an unbelievable performance from Kentucky, let alone without Reed Travis. Auburn is more guard-oriented. Um, they have that good big Austin Wiley. Uh, hopefully he's okay. He took a little scary fall. But big win. I mean, I, I not in a million years would have saw Kentucky just absolutely beating the hell out of Auburn. Um, but that's huge. Now a test. Arkansas comes in. More than likely, you know, I, I don't think Reed Travis is playing. And Arkansas is a good big man. Really good guy in Gafford, I believe is his name. Something like that. So that, that's going to be a tough matchup. See how PJ, Nick, and EJ do. EJ jammed his finger. Nick Richards thought he sprained his ankle, but he's fine. But if we can just please avoid injuries, that'd be nice. But huge win, though, by the Cats. I am off to the Suns. Uh, Hawks game. That's going to be a vlog for you guys. Um, I'm excited for that. Um, hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, get to rebound with Devin Booker. If there's a slight chance of that happening. Uh, don't want to get my hopes up, but there's a chance. And also, we made, me and three friends, guys, made the sickest sport video that we've made yet yesterday. If you guys want to see it, definitely put a like on it and say in the comment section you want to see it. it will, it's the best one we've done yet. Absolutely insane scenes, but hey, good to see you guys as always, though. Peace out.